So let's say you came home from an emergency services activity and your uniform is pretty dirty. Or even better, you came home from encampment and you need to clean your ABUs. Well, this is the video for you. On the inside of every uniform piece, there is a specific set of instructions that is associated with cleaning that piece of the uniform. Now, luckily, all of mine have the similar instructions of cleaning it in warm water in the machine or by hand. Make sure you don't use chlorine, bleach, fabric softeners, or starch. People used to use starch on their uniforms in order to press things. Like on the BDU uniform, starch was always used to create creases and all of that. Don't use starch on these uniforms. That's a big no-no. It says do not on these. Additionally, when you are using your dryer, you can throw these pieces into the dryer. They're fine. Just make sure that it's not super hot. Just use low heat. Make sure it doesn't go above 130 degrees Fahrenheit, as this says. Don't use dryer sheets because the dryer sheets can kind of mess things up with your uniform. And when you are drying the blouse and the pants, just throw them into the dryer. But for me, I do my cover a little bit differently. With my cover, I use a container of some kind. Right here, I have an example of one that I use that is near my washer dryer unit. And so this is my cover, right? And so what I do is I dry it like this and I just let it sit. Now, one thing with covers is that they, they can become all wrinkly and sad and they should be shaved with like a flat top. Some people put a piece of cardboard in the inside of theirs. I do not. I have considered it in the past because that's what people used to do when, when I went to encampments. And I was like, yeah, that's a cool idea. But if you take it out of the washer immediately and then you shape it into the shape that you want where it's got the flat top, like look how flat that is and then the brim is nicely angled and everything. Like it, it looks really good. And when you put it away into your pocket, you can just put it in your cargo pocket, pull it out, flatten the top, and then it's back good to go again. It is very nice. Now with, with the BDU top, ugh, it used to always get super wrinkly, but this, this uniform, the ABUs, do not actually require being ironed. In fact, on the blouse right here, it says, do not commercially use a hot press on this. If you need to, you can use light ironing. But like, if you look at the back of my uniform, I just, I, I pulled it out of the dryer and immediately hung it out. Or I, I hung it up immediately after taking it out of the dryer. I don't see any wrinkles, do you? So I think that's one of the nice things and the advantages of the ABU uniform versus the BDU uniform. And BDU is being phased out entirely, so goodbye, BDU. But with the ABU, it's very nice that you don't have to iron it because I know I used to have to iron my BDUs before meetings all the time, and that was a huge concern for me, and I was like, ah. So now I can just throw it on. And like, if you go out for an ES activity, it's ready to go. So that's very nice. So let's say you're using your fuzzy whoopee. Because why not? It was very cold outside. What you have to do is you need to make sure that you take off the Velcro pieces. Um, the Velcro pieces can get caught on other things in the washer and it can kind of throw things through a loop or create like snags and IPs. So recommendation, take those off, take those bad boys off, and then you're ready to go. Now, this also has its own set of instructions. The instructions are located above the mesh pocket. And this one says machine or hand wash in warm water. So this is the same process for the other ABU pieces. Low or line dry, um, tem low temperature, so below 130 degrees Fahrenheit, just like the other pieces. Do not bleach, do not dry clean, do not use fabric softeners, do not collect $200. Also it says do not iron. And I think that's partially because of a safety hazard because this is like the fluffy stuff. You do not want this being lit on fire, okay? So that was just a quick overview of what to do with your ABU uniform in terms of cleaning it. And if you do have any questions for me, please feel free to put it in the comments down below. I would have shown you footage of me putting it into the washer and dryer, but I did, I did actually have an ES activity this past weekend and I needed to wash my ABUs and I was like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity. But since I was in a rush, I, I forgot to actually record any footage of that. So, hey, my uniform pieces are already clean. 
So if there are any other things that you want to learn a little bit more about, please just let me know. I, I'm always looking for good ideas of things that will be helpful for you and for people who you are working with and other Civil Air Patrol members across the world. So thank you so much for watching, and that is all, folks. Until next time, toodles.